guys, it's Debbie from White Time and uh, Tito. And uh, I'm going to be sharing one of our Instagram live sessions with you guys. The focus of this class will be on lower back stretches. Uh, so it is a real time uh, routine. So it hopefully will take about 30 minutes. And towards the end, we'll do a core strengthening, which you really need if you're trying to, um, you know, reduce your lower back pain. And Tito is going to be around with us. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the class. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We are going to start on our back. So go ahead, lie all the way down. And let's check in with our breath, you guys. Put your hand on your belly. See where your thoughts are. And just bring it back to now, okay? We're gonna spend the next 30 minutes together and we really are going to just focus on our breath. Doesn't matter what part you do or what part you can't do or if this is too slow or too fast, you know? Just hold on to that breath. If there's anything I'm doing that you can't do, just modify. So have one foot all the way down, the other one bring it all the way up. Take your hands, either put it on top of your knee or you're going to go right underneath. Hold on to your hamstring. Slowly bring that knee all the way up towards your chest and slow inhales and exhales. I think I have to go buy him something to chew on to because he's been chewing on my hair. Okay. So you guys, with the next inhale, let's take both of our feet, bring interlock your fingers behind your knees Really try to pull your knees into your chest and now feel that stretch in your lower back. And from there, try to go side to side, okay? This is my favorite mat, don't do that. Okay. And let's roll side to side, see how that feels. That's Ruzi's belt, it's okay, he can chew on that. And I want you to pay attention to something, you guys. When we take an inhale here, fill up your belly. You see like you're pushing your belly into your um, thighs and your thighs, you're pushing them back into your belly, okay? So we're massaging our internal organs as well. And then let go of your foot that we first stretched. Bring it all the way down and interlock your fingers behind your hamstring. Really try to bring that knee towards the shoulder. Okay, so you can always just bring it right in as well, but I feel like I get a deeper stretch in my glute when I go out a little, a little bit. And also for me, when I go just in the center, I feel like a pinching sensation in my hip. So try to avoid pinching sensations, right? If you want, you can also hold on top uh, of your shin. You might feel a deeper stretch, but I personally, Good, you guys. Now we are going to move to my all-time favorite stretch, which is the piriformis stretch, threading the needle stretch. Again, if you're a beginner, just put your ankle right on top of your knee and push your opposite knee down. If you already know how to do this stretch, go deep into it. Then what I want you to do is take your hands, put it you see how you have this window in between your legs? Take your hands, put it right through the window, interlock your fingers behind your hamstring, push your, uh, pull up your hamstring towards your chest. And with your opposite elbow, you're pushing your other knee away from your body. So it's like a seesaw movement. As you bring your hamstring up, you're pushing your knee away and you're re ruining my favorite mat. Thank you very much. Okay, calm down. Calm down, puppy. Yeah. I think he slept all day yesterday and then he's just been up since last night. Okay, guys, now from there, let's go side to side, okay? And see where you feel that juiciest stretch. Hold it right there. 
And let's switch sides. I'm gonna put you on my belly so you stop doing this. Okay, so again, see where you are. You can go pretty deep into your stretch if you want. And really try to bring that hamstring up. Thank you. I think he's going a little bit crazy. I might have to take him upstairs. If stop chewing on my hair. Okay, guys. If I have bad hair day after this, it's because he's chewing on my hair. to bring, grab your belts. I don't think I can use my belt because he might want it, but let's see. So have one leg down, the other foot. You're gonna have your knee either bent or you can have it straight. And I'm holding on to the belt with one hand and I'm gonna try to bring that foot up towards my chest. Now, a couple of modifications here, you guys. You can either keep this knee bent if you have lower back issues. If you're okay, go ahead, bring that leg all the way down. Now, you can grab the belt on either side, push your knee away. Oh, thank God he's playing with his stupid doll. Push your knee away with both hands. Squeeze your shoulder blades back into the mat, bring that foot all the way up. And we're gonna hold it here for a little bit. See how that feels, if that's frustrating, if that feels like it's too much work on your hands or your biceps, you know, trust your body. You're stronger than what you think. We're just stretching, right? So this is actually quite overwhelming at times, especially when I make you hold it for a while, but I feel like our bodies are, you know, in constant need and we tend to forget about them. So here we're caring about them a little bit more, which is great. So you should be proud of yourselves for showing up. I know a lot of you are still working and you know, this is maybe your lunchtime. So I'm thankful you guys are here and you need to thank yourself for showing up to class, right? So now what I want you to do is bring that foot all the way to out away from your body okay so if you have a wall near you you can just be lazy and rest your foot on the wall and let gravity do its job for you but really try to push your knee away i think he wants his belt back okay. and if you want a deeper stretch you can always just bring your foot up a little bit more let me stop showing on my hair Okay, and then bring it all the way in. When he gets quiet, I'm like, oh my God, he's gonna pee somewhere. Just not on my hair, please. Good, let's switch. Oh man, don't do that. Push your knee away. I promise I'll give you your belt back. Okay, hold it right there. And then let's gently bring it all the way away from you. And make it an active stretch, you guys. You don't wanna just be hanging out here, right? You wanna be able to feel that stretch. slowly bring it all the way in do you guys have like a weird way of speaking to your dogs maybe you do the baby voice or a puppy voice or something I can't help but want to speak Farsi to my puppy okay. 
Good, you guys, bring it back to center. Now let's pull it up one more time. See how that feels, really push that knee away. If you guys are using both hands, even better, right? I just don't wanna lose my hair today, so. Okay, great. And here, go play with the belt. Ruin Ruzi's belt, not my hair, thank you. Okay. So what I want you guys to do now is bring both of your knees to your chest and let's drop it to one side. Now I'm keeping both shoulders on the floor. So this is again a rotational movement we're doing, right? And see how that feels? Where do you feel that stretch? Now bring both of your knees up. Let's go to the other side. But see, I'm trying to keep my hands, my elbows on the floor as I drop my hips to the opposite side. And you can even try to look away, so away from where your knees are. Really feel that deep stretch if you want. With the other hand, you can put both hands on your knee and drop your knees further down. You'll feel even more of a stretch. Now let's come back into a seated position. This is my new hairdo as uh, Tito's chewing on my hair. Great. So we're going to do a couple of more, like one more hamstring stretch here. So sit up tall. So you guys, you can have your uh, feet into like a V position. Then bend one knee, bring it in. Point your toes up if you want. You can use your belt. <laughs> I'm not going to use this belt now because um, it's going to go crazy. But you put the belt right around your foot and you're going to try to bend forward. So if you have the reach, you can do the same thing with your hands, right? But one thing I don't want is you doing this. This is not a stretch, you guys, right? We're just cheating ourselves when we're doing stuff like that. Push your knee down. Point your toes up. From your hips, turn your hips towards your foot. From your hip, just tilt forward. So keep your chin up. So this kind of helps you knowing if you're actually slouching. If you're slouching, squeeze your shoulder blades back. Sit up tall and try to go down. Now again, for those of you who have tightness and stiffness in your uh, lower back and your hamstring, this might seem impossible, but trust me, you guys, you'll be able to do it. Just go down, use that belt, use your biceps to really push your body forward as you bring your chest down. Now, for sure, two months ago before we started, I could not do this. Again, my back is still not perfect. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna work towards it, right? So what I want you to do then is take that elbow, put it right inside the knee, and let's rotate our body upwards, and then bring your arm up and try to reach. So this is a great Kiwa stretch for all of you who've heard of that uh, uh, muscle before. This is when this muscle is in spasm, it's one of the hardest to release. Even if you're seeing a therapist, for us, it's so hard to get into this muscle because it's so deep. So this is a great stretch for it. Just make sure your hips are not lifted off the floor. Those hips are glued to the floor with your elbow. You rotate with your head. You try to reach. And come back up. Now, let's see where you before we switch to the other side, just tap into your body, you guys. Were you able to hold on to your intention for the day? Were you able to uh, hold on to your breath, right? And if not, it's okay, just come back to it. Come back to that positive intention you picked and keep that slow breath going, okay? So deep inhales and deep exhales. And 
again, I'm gonna use the belt now because maybe he won't let me, he won't jump on the belt. Great. So again, on this side, I'm always tighter. So the belt, the, and you can see the difference, right? But the belt is really gonna help me because what I'm doing is with my hands, I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades back, make sure my back is straight, and then slowly go forward. I don't need to go as deep on this side because I already feel the stretch and that's the goal. The goal is to feel the stretch. Make sure you're squaring off your hips that both sit bones are on the floor and reach forward with your chest. Again, tap back into your body. Even I find myself slouching. Make sure your back is straight. So the tighter you are, the harder it is to keep that back straight, right? Okay, now let go of your belts. We are going to put our hand right inside that, uh, our elbow inside the knee. First, use your hand, use that pressure to rotate your body up towards the ceiling and then bring your arm up and reach. Yeah, and he's sleeping so. Bye guys, I'll see you later. I'm kidding. Okay, let's take one more breath in. See what that breath does for you. It opens up your chest. You can rotate a little more. As you exhale, you reach a little more. And then slowly come back all the way up. Seriously guys, I don't think I can wake him up now. He's too cute. So you're on your own. <laughs> so what I want you to do now is find a comfortable seated position. So you can have your legs crossed. You can go into a lotus, half lotus, whatever you're comfortable, okay? Then we're gonna do our second, um, like almost QL stretch. So plant one hand on the floor. With the other hand, bring your arm up. And again, reach to the opposite side. But if you're doing this, Right, if I'm reaching from here, it defeats the purpose. You want to make sure your shoulders are away from your ears, you're sitting up tall, both sit bones are glued to the mat, and then you reach a little bit. And come up on your hand, rotate your body up. Now reach a little bit more. And again, tap back into that breath, you guys. It's so healing. Then come up and let's go on the other side. So put your hand down, bring your arm up and reach. And then come back up, get taller, squeeze your shoulder blades down and reach even a little bit more. See how great that feels for our lower back. Come all the way back up. Then we are, I'm so sorry, Boo, I have to put you on your... Let me see how much time I have. Great. So what I want you guys to do now is come into that, um, this position. So make that diamond shape with your legs. Bring the feet together. Open up your feet. And get as close as you can. So bring your bum as close as you can to your heels. And again, see how this has changed. So I'm sure maybe some of us are here, right? So what I want you to do is use your hands, push your body forward. So you're sitting up tall. With your elbows, try to push your uh, knees towards the mat. So if you're here, even if you're here, but you're working on making that back straight, that's still a great stretch for you guys. It's a great hip opener. I'm going to show you guys in the side view. Okay, thank God. Just stay there, baby. Okay, so if you're here, use your elbows. Pull, pull your body forward with your um, elbows pushed down into your knees. Now, let's say you have that range of motion, okay? Let's say this is a piece of cake for you. You can easily sit here. So what I want you to do is to make it a little bit more challenging. You're going to bring your body forward. But if you're doing this, your bum is coming off the mat, that's wrong, right? You want to make sure you keep your weight back, back straight, and then you go down. And bring your chin forward. 
Shuna. Okay. All right, great. Now we are going to do one more stretch and then we'll go into our strengthening exercises. So let's all get into the pigeon pose. If you guys can do pigeon, you can do one more threading the needle. I don't think my puppy wants me to do any more. I think we're done for the day. I need mommy. Okay, come back here. Thank you. Just wait there two more seconds. I promise. Okay. All right, guys. So go deep into your pigeon. So if you haven't done pigeon before, we go from quadruped, bring your knee forward, turn it in, and then take your bum all the way back. Now, if you're, glue, if you're sitting like this, again, you guys don't cheat yourself, bring your weight right in the middle and go all the way down. And tap back into your breath. You know, whatever it is that you picked at the beginning of the class, maybe it was just to be able to be mindful as we're doing these movements, right? Stay there. Now, if you're not feeling a stretch here, move your bum around or move your upper body around get to a point where you actually feel that stretch and then hold it right there and make that deep breath connect with your body see where your hips are again all the exercises we just did together are probably the best ones for anybody who suffers from lower back pain regardless of what your doctor told you you have right if you have a disc issue, you have herniation, you have stenosis, whatever it is, you guys, you know, when, when we get diagnosed with stuff like that, they, they're they just looking at our, our uh, bones and joints and stuff, right? Not really where your muscle is or how tight that muscle is or how that muscle is affecting the nerves, right? So they're forgetting about the biggest organ that we deal with with movement, which is our muscle, right? Okay, now let's switch to the other side. If you guys are in uh, to do a flow, let's do it together. So come all the way up into a downward dog. Now let's keep track of our breath. Come forward with an inhale, roll your shoulders back. Look forward. Let's, I'm gonna go from my knees, squeeze your shoulder blades back and bend your elbows as you go down. Then from there, come into an upward dog. Really relax that bum. Lift your knees up. With an exhale, come back into a downward dog. See how great that felt? And then we're gonna go to the other side. So from here, bring one knee forward, tilt. So if your shin doesn't come all the way up, don't force it. If it's here, that's where it needs to be today. Then take your bum all the way back, square off your hips, and then slowly go all the way down. Okay. And let's tap back into our breath again, guys. See where your body is. See if you're hoping that I would end this stretch faster or if you love it so much you just want to stay in it for another six minutes and that's totally fine. If you guys want to skip the core and just stay in pigeon, I'm okay with that. As long as you don't jump into an easy stretch, okay? Again, now shift your weight around, see where you feel most of the stretch, and then hold it right there. Alrighty, one more breath, one more breath. Okay, guys, now let's come out of it. You're ready for your core. It's Monday, we have two more classes today. Um, one at three where I come back and do a strengthening exercise with Uzi and then with Parth at six. So maybe I won't kill you for the core. Let's practice something together, okay? So what I want you to do is move back and forth a couple of times and see where your hip, uh, your sit bones are, okay? When you go on that, those two bones, when you're sitting there, you can kind of balance yourself, okay? You just move back. There you go, so 
Okay, now from there, lift your feet up, squeeze your shoulder blades back, engage your core, and see if you can just stay here. This still takes a lot, so it's not this, you guys. I'm not doing this, okay? I'm really squeezing my shoulder blades back together, really trying to sit up tall, engage my core, and from there, what I want you to do is try to see if you can take your hands off your shins and really, you're really using every muscle in your body to kind of hang out here, right? You're using your core, you're using your back muscle, you're using your hip muscles to kind of keep your body where it is. And again, if you're feeling lower back pain, pull one leg down, try extending the other leg, okay? But if you're down for the challenge, Bring your knees together, kick one leg up, down, up, down. That's one. That's crazy, right? Two, three, four, five. Engage that core, come a little more forward. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Whew and then hug yourself. How was that? Piece of cake, huh? Okay. Now we're just gonna finish it off with some straight leg raises. So we're only gonna do three of these. We've done them a gazillion times before. Again, you guys, if you don't wanna go all the way, just remember, even holding it here is good enough. You don't need to go all the way down. You can just challenge yourself by holding the pose here, or here but if you're down for it we're gonna go down for a count of ten make sure your hands are supporting your lower back so they're under your bum and let's do it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten lift your head up and flutter kick one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten Good. Bring your knees to your chest. Okay. Again, both legs up. Point your toes down. Straighten out your knees. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring your knees to your chest. This might feel a little bit harder on our hip flexors, the muscles here, after doing the last exercise. But we only have one more and then I'll let you guys go. Okay, promise. Bring your legs up and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, you guys, we did it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the class. I hope you uh, enjoyed the live session. Those are fantastic exercises you can incorporate in your daily routine. Uh, honestly, it will do magic for you if you are having lower back pain. Uh, again, if the strengthening exercise is too hard, don't worry about it. You can build your way up to it. We have um, uh, core exercises for beginners. I will share the link in the description with you guys so you can start there and work your way up to something that we did today. As always, if you have any questions, leave a comment for us and we'll get back to you and if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel say bye Tito say sorry I was chewing on your hair <laughs> okay guys see you later bye